What up, ladies and gents, and welcome to another episode of Science with Bio Guy. For today's episode, it will involve not other than mask wearing in the U.S. Before we get started on this topic, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new to follow all my videos and be updated. So without further ado, let's get into this. So today is July 1st, or at least the day that I'm recording this right now. So hopefully I actually upload it on the same day, bio. But we're officially in the second half of 2020. And hopefully, hopefully it'll turn out better than the first half. I know the hope looks kind of dim, but I'm holding out hope. So as of right now, we are still battling with COVID-19, at least in the United States. And while there was a drop off back in, let's say, I think early June, where stuff started to open back up, now things, now the cases are starting to creep back up again. And pretty much all the states in, across the United States. And it's getting to the point where states are having these serious discussions on whether to mandate mask wearing in public settings and all i gotta say about that is it's about time now i know some of you may think i'm talking crazy or you're kind of like why do i gotta really wear a mask the cdc when this whole thing started they were set telling us not to wear masks at all uh, why the mandate now and why am i agree with it so let me get this straight okay when COVID-19 first hit the United States and everybody was it kind of spread across the country uh, and in March everything was like shut down the reason why the CDC was saying not to buy any masks or to wear any masks initially in the stores was because they were telling everybody look just stay at home and you're good and it made sense if you stay at home you won't have the virus so it doesn't make any sense for you to have a mask or anything but they realized that we couldn't really stay at home you know we had to go out to the store to get groceries some of us were essential workers or we just had to go to places to where it was impossible for us to stay six feet apart like you walk into a grocery store even today you can't tell me you spend that whole time in the grocery store staying six feet apart from everybody. It's impossible. And so that's why they have changed that to a recommendation to wear a mask. Because when you're inside those grocery stores or any type of indoor setting, it's nearly impossible to stay six feet apart from somebody. Now, if you're outdoors, let's say if you're at a park and you're kind of reading a book and there's nobody else around you or the people that are around you that are like, more than six feet apart from you then in that case yeah it's okay to go without a mask because you're not going to be anywhere close to anybody so you don't need to wear a mask in that scenario that makes sense but if you're in a store or any type of mall or whatever you're not going to be able to stay six feet away from somebody you're going to either walk past somebody or you're going to have one of those ones that they can't make up their mind what brand of yoga they want and you just want to grab the butter in front of them and you're just like look move and honestly if you just slow down and look at it it makes total sense why these states are now mandating or are starting to have discussion whether to mandate these mask wearings in public settings because it's for this reason for one if you have COVID-19 it pretty much protects the other people around you so again it won't protect yourself from catching the virus, but it will protect other people from catching the virus from you. So in other words, you wearing that mask prevents or pretty much dramatically reduces that virus from being spread if you were to have it. And this is helping people that have, a, or that care for elderly grandparents or relatives, or they have a immune compromised uh, family member, you're protecting them. And this is something you guys have to keep in mind because what people get confused is that, oh, if I catch uh, COVID-19 without a mask, I'll be fine and yada, yada, yada. No, remember, the masks do not protect you from catching COVID, okay? 
it protects you from spreading it. So in other words, if you're going in the store without a mask on and everybody else has their mask and you're not, you're causing a problem. That's where the issue is at. And that's why they strongly recommend you to wear a mask. It protects other people and it helps solve this problem. So I don't understand why you wouldn't do it. And the third most important reason, well not the most important, but it's just as important as the other two, is it helps keep these businesses going. If everybody's going to the store and wearing a mask, the cases are gonna stay down or keep not rising. And these businesses can stay open, they can keep making money, people can start going back to their lifestyle. If we stop wearing masks, we're gonna be back at square one again where we're all kind of stay at home orders, which uh, some of the states in the U.S. are. They're switching back to stay at home orders, which is unfortunate. So yes, if you want a scientist's opinion, or if you just want my opinion, I think masks are a great idea. You're only in a store for like, what, an hour, two hour stops? It's not gonna be the death of you or anything. Now, how will stores or how will malls or any public setting mandate these masks? I honestly don't know. That's something that they're gonna have to figure out. Possibly a solution is maybe they can have a set uh, disposable mask to where if somebody were to walk into the store and let's say they forget their mask, maybe that happens. Maybe you uh, ran out of the house and you just left the mask on your uh, counter or something. And you already travel like 15 minutes to the store, you don't wanna drive 15 minutes back. Well, they could just offer you a mask right there on the spot, like a disposable surgical mask. I don't know if that could work. That's just throwing an idea out there. Because you, will gonna, you are gonna have some people that they don't agree with this, or that they truly forget, and they're gonna be upset. So I don't know what the solution would be to overcome that, but that's just a thought I have. And I also understand that there are some situations or some scenario to where you can't really wear a mask. And I'm talking about like, let's say you're a toddler or you have a respiratory problem or you have trouble breathing or if you fall into one of those categories, I get it and I understand. But I'm talking about for people like me that don't mind putting on a mask and it's not gonna affect me for having a mask on for one or two hours. It's not asking a lot. So to conclude, let's just try to do our part. Okay. Now I'm not, and I'm not saying if you see somebody without a mask on in the parking lot, I'm not saying to go hound them or go yell, put a mask on or anything like that. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying that the more people that we have doing their part, the better that we can, can get through this pandemic and just get back to normal. That's what we're trying to do. We're not out of the, out of this first wave yet. People saying that we're in the second wave. No, if you look at some of the curves, we were starting to trend down, but we just peaked back up. So this is still the first wave, okay? So let's try to do something about it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe again. Uh, or again, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I don't know, you get the point. Thank you guys for watching again. Stay safe. I'll see you next time. This is Bio Guy signing off.